Welcome back to the Believe in Badger football podcast on the Believe Podcast Network, presented by betonline.ag. Once again, I am Matt Perkins, joined today by special guest, the returning champ, Roger Rogers, is here to talk Badgers recruiting and defensive back play. Rod, always great to see you. You too as well, Matt. Thanks for having me on. Always, bro. Always a pleasure to see you and chop it up. I want to remind you guys that we are, in fact, presented by betonline.ag, where they continue to be your number one source for all of your online sports wagering needs. You name it, they've got it over at BetOnline. NFL, NBA, college football, college basketball, golf, esports, it's there. When you head over to the website or use your mobile device to sign up, make sure to use our promo code BELIEVE, that's B-L-E-A-V, for a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Over at betonline.ag, bet online where the game starts. All right, Rod, we're going to hop right into it because since we last talked, we've had a lot of change on the Badger football team. And now Luke Fickle is in charge. You are talking to recruits all the time. You are developing these guys out in Colorado. What are sort of your overall impressions so far in the Luke of the Luke Fickle regime a couple weeks in? Uh, I think he's doing a, a really good job of recruiting. Uh, I've seen some of the athletes that they're going after now uh, in the program. And, and uh, I think I've watched a lot of film of uh, some of the guys, uh, especially uh, 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 knowing uh, uh, the LaCrue kid, quarterback here in, from Broomfield. So I, I think he's doing a really good job of holding it all together and, and uh, will we'll present a, a good product once it's, it's all said and done. Yeah, for sure. I think that there's just some juice around the program now for the first time in a little bit of while, right? It's always been sort of the Wisconsin way. And you know the Wisconsin way as yeah. well as anyone. And it's it has been successful. But I think in order to take that next step, they sort of needed a little kick in the butt that Luke Fickle and company have, you know, have given them so far. Um and so one of the things that they have been doing is loading up on defensive backs. And you are our DV guru around here. So the, the first sort of 30,000 foot question I want to ask from you is what are uh, what are college coaches that you talk to? What are they really looking for in today's defensive backs? Well, yeah. So when you're talking cornerbacks, you you're obviously talking the regulars like speed. Uh, guys who have good ball skills, guys who will come up and tackle, especially being in the Big Ten. So, uh, but you're also looking for those things that you really can't coach, um, which is play recognition. You know, how often do, you know, how fast do they read plays and how quickly can they get to uh, the point of contact? So, um in that corner, that's what you're looking for. Guys who can line up, play a zone coverage as well as a man coverage as well. At safety uh, in the Big Ten, I think coaches are looking for guys who are sure tacklers. Uh, they're looking for guys who can go out and cover a slot receiver at a time or a tight end at a time. Uh, and, and guys who understand where they need to be, when they need to be it, and how fast can they get there. Uh, they always talk about in both defense or, or the safety and corner position, uh, how uh, twitchy a player is, uh, how, how, um, how, how fast can he move from point A to point B. So they will uh, uh, really focus on guys like that to, to, to build a program around. Yeah, I mean, we've seen Wisconsin. They're going hard after d I think they've got four or five already coming in this class. Um, and, you know, they're in really good position, I know, with Amari Snowden, who is a four-star cornerback out of uh, Michigan, who is one of the top corner prospects in the country. He was committed to Cincinnati, decommitted after Fickle left. And now what's interesting about him is he was a two-sport guy, right? And he was yep. a, He's a two-sport, really wanted to play baseball, but looks like he might become to UW. But actually, I noticed that your former teammate, Brian Calhoun, brought up uh, to today on Twitter that... He thinks one of the things that would be beneficial for UW is to encourage guys to be dual sport athletes. Do you think that's a good idea for a guy to be encouraging guys if they can to, you know, be doing another sport? 
Uh, I I like the idea. The reason why is because uh, uh, those guys are usually more athletic. Um, so it, it really helps for guys to do uh, dual sports, um, whether, whether it's track or some basketball. I think basketball helps guys with a little bit more of lateral speed and track is more linear speed and and foot quickness in the basketball arena. So I, I, I definitely agree with them playing, you know, playing dual sports as well. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think it's interesting to sort of when, when you get that training across different sports, you're using different muscle groups that you may not even be thinking about, right, when, when you're playing football. Yeah. So to, to definitely yeah. sort of, you know, keep your, your whole athleticism well rounded and now um one of the uh, one of the other big topics the hot topics in college football these days has been the transfer portal and now you are in colorado you are like uh coach prime has made colorado uh transfer portal central so yeah. it's and it's a very very different game than it was you know when we were in school and even then you know five ten years ago now first of all uh, i want to know two things a what kind of juice has that brought in your area? Just having Coach Prime around in Colorado, can you like feel that on the ground? And then, B, what are sort of your overall thoughts on how things are going with you know the influx of more and more players entering the transfer portal? Well, I'll say this: the excitement in the Colorado area is at an all-time high. Uh, I think uh, they have high expectations of what Dion could do here uh he's bringing in some of the talent that colorado hasn't recruited in the past you know a lot of four star five star guys who are you know excited about coming here to play great facilities so it's it's really a lot of excitement now he is using a lot of the transfer uh portal uh taking advantage of that to get the guys he want here some guys he played at jackson state some guys he's been recruiting uh, to there that, you know, making switches. So he's he's using the tool that they have given him. Uh, it's a lot different than uh, when I was in college. Um, you know, we kind of hesitated a little bit because we would have to sit out that year and, and all the things that go along with it. But now it's kind of clear that it's really the way to build, build teams and what guys are considering. It. And, and I wouldn't say... You know, guys are transferring schools because, you know, they couldn't fit at a school or, or they weren't getting to play in time. These guys are making decisions based off of a number of different reasons. So, you know, I think it works for now. I would like to see more of a little bit of a limit um, to to how many guys they can get out of that portal, uh, really to help high school recruiting uh, as well. But uh, many of these coaches are looking guys looking for guys who could step in and play now. Yeah, they, they really are. And they want that stability, I think, in, in a right. lot of ways. Right. They want the if if you got like 18, 20 guys leaving every year going into the transfer. I mean, that's an entire recruiting class right there. 18 yeah. to 20 guys. And, and, and we're seeing teams all over the country have that many guys enter the transfer portal. It's absolutely wild. And like you said, like you coach a lot of kids who are in high school trying to make it to the next level. That's just such an added layer on, on top of it. And so guys don't even know if they're going to have spots. And I can't even imagine like the conversations that are going on, you know, behind closed doors. Right. No, I totally agree. Um, but, you know, I think it's one of those things that's still kind of fresh and new and eventually it may slow down, uh, you know, in that way. But right now it works. It works for these coaches and, it's it's really an exciting thing because it's still new uh, and just seeing how teams are working that process now is really interesting for these kids. Yeah, for sure. So one of the other reasons we want to bring you on is because you are in Colorado, the home of the Badgers 2023 quarterback, Cole LaCrue, who he had an epic senior season leading uh, Bloomfield to the state title. What's the buzz been uh, on LaCrue in your neck of the woods? And then we're going to take a look at some of his film. Yeah, so LaCrue is, I mean, he's definitely one of the top players out of Colorado. And, I mean, I've watched him for a while now. I, I remember trying to get him on my 7-on-17 when he was just a sophomore. 
Um, he was a very team oriented uh, player. I, I remember asking him and I'm like, hey, could you come over and uh, play on our 707 team? And he was like, well, my whole team has to come and play with you. It just can't be me. We're a family and, and, and kind of gave me the whole spiel. So he's going to bring the uh, uh, the team uh, uh, commitment or the atmosphere and he's going to bring a lot of guys together strong arm consistent uh has some accuracy so i think he's going to be uh, a really good pickup for uh the wisconsin badgers yeah one of the things that i also really like him like about him is that he has a lot of that natural athleticism. And then when he's escaping the pocket, he's not just trying to like tuck it and run, right? He's always keeping his eyes downfield. And I think that's going to, you know, do him really well at the next level as we, you know, sit here, also watch him, you know, stand in the pocket and take a big hit as he delivers the long ball. Um, you know, I, we've seen some some big time quarterbacks out of the state of Colorado, you know, more recently, you look at the McCaffreys and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I think that sort of overall... Uh, Colorado recently has been on the up and coming in terms of high school football play uh, because you, you see a lot of expats from both California and Texas headed into uh, into the Rocky Mountain State. Yeah, no, Colorado's football is definitely it's improving. It's getting a lot more competitive and competitive. And you you can see, you know, a lot of college coaches are now coming into Colorado to to really take a hard look at a lot of these athletes um, in the the area. So I think Colorado is is on on path of, of being one of the uh, the hallmarks of uh, being recruiting players or, or somewhere where coaches can go and feel like they can, you know, get a, a solid athlete. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going to get you out of here on this. What is the biggest thing you are looking forward to in the coming year, the first year of the Luke Fickle era in Madison? Well, I I really want to see how the scheme changes. Um, I want to see how the offense changes. I want to see how, um, um, you know, the players that they're recruiting now or that Luke Fickle wants to bring in, I want to see how they fit in, in, in the system and, and bring some more excitement to the, the jump around the Badgers uh, uh, tradition. Absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun um, just watching this season, right? I, I think that we'll see a lot of people, uh, you know, more engaged and really engaged for the first time in, in quite a while. Uh, from yes. you know, the fans, I mean, there is so much excitement. Just it's palpitating outside of Madison right now. So uh, yes. it's, it's really good to see. So, well, uh, we're going to let you go. We appreciate you taking the time, letting us the insight. Uh, tell the people where they can find you on social media. Oh, if you go to rodcoaching.com on Twitter or uh, you can ride underscore Allen underscore Rogers on Instagram, you can find me there and, and we can have a conversation. Ab absolutely. Um, Rod, we always appreciate your time and insights. Uh, thanks for listening to the Believe in Badger Football podcast on the Believe Podcast Network presented by betonline.ag. And until next time, on Wisconsin. On Wisconsin.